Welcome everybody to the first Walrus video of 2024. Before we go on to any new adventures, we're gonna be looking back on the past year because 2023 was a big one for Belgian climbing. During the past year, we saw impressive competitive performances, historic outdoor bouldering feats, and unique behind the scenes looks from Belgian climbers pushing their own limits and the limits of the sport. We were lucky to speak to some of the climbers themselves to hear their first-hand recollections of their climbing in 2023. Let's dive on in because there's a lot to cover. We're starting things off in the world of competitive climbing in which our Belgian athletes took center stage. And we have to start with Hannes van Deuze, who showcased a breakout performance throughout the season. He kicked off his season exceptionally strong by making it to the finals and taking silver in Hachioji, the first event of the season and Hannes' first bouldering World Cup ever. His determination was evident as he secured another finals appearance later in the season in Salt Lake City and consistently reached the semifinals, establishing himself as a force to be reckoned with on the international stage. We reached out to Hannes to ask him for his personal highlight of the year. This is what he had to say. Hello, uh, I'm Hannes. Um, and for me, uh, the best uh, moment of 2023 was uh, the half final in Hajjoji. Yeah, that's toch wel the half final where I the uh, most adrenaline had. Toch zeker in the second boulder op the slab, I was the only one to top. Yeah, daar had I echt heel veel adrenaline when I topped, omdat the whole public kind of began to roepen en ja, dan wist ik ongeveer al dat ik toch wel de eerste of een van de eerste was die die de boulder had getopt. Het was wel geweldig, heel tijd, uh, hele team dat mij zat aan te moedigen en alle gaf me echt uh, uh, heel veel vertrouwen. En dan kwam ik uit de isolatie en stond ik uh, ja, op de derde plaats voor dat moment. En dan ja, was het nog lang afwachten uh, uh, of dat ik in de finale zat of niet. Uh, en dan zat ik uiteindelijk wel in de finale, dus ja, ja dat was wel voor mij duidelijk uh, het beste moment van het hele seizoen. Hannes stayed in great shape later in the year as he won the lead event and took a bronze medal in the Boulder event of the World Championship Under 20 in Seoul. And he claimed victory in several open competitions as well. The list is quite impressive. He won the La Sportiva Legends only event in Sweden, where he came out on top of climbers such as Will Bosi, Stefano Gisolfi, Tron Jong Won and Nikolai Uznik. His consistency was evident as he clinched a second place in the Master of Fire competition to be outperformed only by Japanese all-time climber Tomoa Narasaki. The Master of Fire event was hosted by Le Comte de Base in Brussels, for whom the event was one of their highlights of 2023. The Master of Fire was the second edition, and this year, it was C'était vraiment une ambiance, euh, ambiance de fou et vraiment un événement euh, incroyable. Je pense que tout le monde a, a pris son pied et nous les premiers, c'était vraiment, euh, vraiment dingue. When watching Hannes during the competitions, you might have heard his teammates cheer him on in the background, illustrating that he's not the only Belgian climber competing at the highest level. One of his teammates is Nicolas Collin, who in February claimed the title of Belgian Boulder Champion at, once again, Le Comte de Bas. However, Nicolas's defining moment arrived later in the year when he made his mark on the international stage. During the Bouldering World Cup in Innsbruck, Nicolas clinched a spot in the finals alongside his good friend Simon Lorenzi. Let's hear from Nicolas directly how he experienced his finals appearance. Bonjour à tous, c'est Nicolas Collin et je vais vous présenter euh, en vidéo et en image mon meilleur souvenir de l'année 2023. Du coup, mon meilleur souvenir de cette année, bah, c'était ma finale en Coupe du Monde à Innsbruck. Parce que enfin, c'était ma première finale en, en Coupe du Monde. Et ça faisait déjà quand même quelques années où je participais à des, des étapes de Coupe du Monde et j'avais jamais réussi à atteindre une finale. Et en plus, ce qui était particulier à Innsbruck, c'est que ben, pour la finale, j'étais avec euh, un de mes meilleurs potes, Simon Lorenzi. Et du coup, on a pu partager euh, 
bah, cette finale euh, ensemble, pouvoir lire, euh, on a pu lire les blocs euh, tous les deux et puis grimper tous les deux dans des, dans des super blocs et il y avait une top ambiance et c'était un super moment aussi. Mon coach était là et du coup on a, enfin il, il était juste derrière moi pour cette compétition et on a pu, on a pu vivre ensemble cette, euh, cette finale et c'était un peu les, les, la récompense de, de toutes ces années de travail et, et ça fait du bien de pouvoir une fois faire un, un bon résultat comme une finale en Coupe du Monde, c'était vraiment incroyable. Et j'espère que 2024 n'apportera d'aussi cool moment. But Nicolas wasn't done yet, pushing on to make the finals of the lead World Cup in Wujiang later in the year, becoming the first Belgian climber ever to make a boulder and lead World Cup final in the same season. The Belgian climbing team is evidently getting the formula down, so we'll be looking forward to the season to come. And just as Nicolas Collin triumphed in the men's category of the Belgian Boulder Championship, the women's category was won by, you might call her, the queen of Belgian bouldering, Chloe Collier, who won the Belgian bouldering title for the 10th time in a row. I repeat, the 10th time. A decade of dominance on the national level. On Instagram, she shares the following. When I realized what I just achieved, Belgian champion for the 10th year in a row, this one was special. An anniversary in my new second home, Le Combe de Bas Bruxelles, with an audience like we never had at nationals. Thank you all for this magical moment. Chloe would go on to take bronze in Studio Blockmasters in Darmstadt. She won the European Boulder Cup in Loverval and took gold in the Master of Fire Open competition, putting Belgium on top against an otherwise entirely French finalist field. And while we're on the topic of the strongest Belgian women, we shift to the Belgian lead championships, where Céline Kuipers took the title for 2023. Maar ik heb wel meegedaan in Zelina en Bologna. Dit zijn Europese bekers, waar ik ook tiendes eindigde in Zelina. Sinds september ben ik weer volop bezig als trainer en manager van Team Climax. Met het team gaan we elke maand twee dagen naar Parijs om met Ludovic Laurence te trainen. Hier leer ik enorm veel en kan ik groeien en ontwikkelen als coach. In the men's event of the Belgian League Championship, Ties van Krijnest took gold. But we talked to bronze medalist Arno Leupart, one of our local heroes who trains and coaches at Klimsal Blue here in Ghent. Um, hallo iedereen, mijn naam is Arno Leupart. Ik ben 25 jaar oud en sinds mijn 11 jaar doe ik aan de sport meer klimmen. De reden dat ik het ka lied kies als memorabel moment is omdat het, dat het vond plaats in Klimax, maar niet in de, de binnenmuur zoals ze altijd doen, maar echt op de buitenmuur. Buiten. En wat het zo speciaal maakt is omdat er zijn heel veel, veel nationale wedstrijden opgehouden ieder jaar was er daar een wereldbeker tot het jaar 2015. Dat is ook de reden dat ik ben begonnen met klimmen. Ik uh, 2010 10, ben naar die wereldbeker samen met mijn papa gaan kijken. Kijk, en ja, ik vond dat gewoon zo fantastisch om te zien. Dat was ook de reden dat ik dan zei van ja, oké, okay, ja, papa, ik wil ook gaan klimmen. En om dan nu op dat BK ook op die muur een wedstrijd te mogen doen, ja, dat maakt me echt heel speciaal. Uiteindelijk ben ik derde geworden. Puur op basis van het resultaat was ik eerst wel wat teleurgesteld, omdat het jaar daarvoor was ik ook al derde. En ik had nu wel iets van, ja oké, okay, ik kan echt wel, kan echt wel winnen. Ik ben dan nagegaan hetgeen dat ik nu nu heb gezegd. Dat heb ik allemaal overlopen in mijn hoofd. En zo kom ik alleen maar tot de conclusie van, ja, eigenlijk heb ik gewoon een van de beste wedstrijden van mijn leven gedaan. Which brings us to Pavitra van den Oven, who added another victorious chapter to an already illustrious climbing career. Having previously claimed a gold medal in the Paraclimbing World Cup in 2021, Pavitra once again etched her name in the annals of climbing history by securing another gold in the recent Paraclimbing World Championships in Bern, Switzerland. At the Paraclimbing World Cup in Innsbruck, she took gold as well in the RP1 division. And we have the honor of receiving the following message from our own Belgian world champion. Hallo, ik ben Pavitra, 25 jaar oud. Ik ben rond mijn zes jaar begonnen met klimmen. Eerst recreatief, 
daarna op competitieniveau. In 2013 deed ik mee aan mijn eerste nationale wedstrijd in België. En in 2017 deed ik mee aan mijn eerste internationale wedstrijd. Daarna is eigenlijk alles heel snel gegaan, want in 2021 deed ik mee voor het eerst met het wereldkampioenschap in Moskou. En daar heb ik mijn eerste titel dan ook binnengehaald. In 2023 heb ik uh, deze titel uh, mogen verdedigen en dat is ook mij gelukt. En ik denk wel dat ik kan zeggen dat dit mijn hoogtepunt van het jaar was. We round up 2023's competitive highlights with Frederik Leijs, who clinched gold at the Paraclimbing World Cup in Salt Lake City and made three finals appearances of a total of four IFSC Paraclimbing events of the year. At the World Championships in Bern, he took the fifth place in the AL2 division. Let's take things outside now, because Belgian climbers performed on more than just the competitive stage. We're going to start with Simon Lorenzi, who needs no introduction by now. At the close of 2022, he had sent Alphan, the 9A boulder problem in Switzerland. And one of my highlights of 2023 was the release of the video documenting this send. Courtesy of Belgian filmmaker Gilles Charlier, the video was released on the Mellow YouTube channel and provides a rare insight into Simon's processes and personality. So definitely go check it out. Here's some of the clips from that video. Until last week, this would have been the entire segment on Simon Lorenzi, but at the end of the year, he took the bouldering world by storm when he sent Burden of Dreams, another formidable 9A boulder in Finland, after meticulously working the replica at Le Combe de Vaz in Brussels. With his send of Burden of Dreams, Simon became the first climber worldwide to conquer three 9A boulder problems. The third being Soudan Seul, the big island sit-start boulder in Fontainebleau, which he topped in 2021. The team at Le Comte de Base wanted to congratulate their climber, so they sent us the following. We terminé l'année avec uh, avec a... Un bel enchaînement d'un grimpeur local qui traîne souvent ses pattes ici, Simon Lorenzi, qui était parti en Norvège faire son, faire son un pur pro. Non, 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 non c'était en Finlande. Hein. Bon, allez, bonne année à tous. Hein. <rire> A second outdoor climber we want to highlight here is Siba Van Hee, a Belgian trad and big wall climber who shares his adventures online. His year starts with the release of Darkest Before Dawn, a film offering a candid glimpse into his inaugural season tackling Yosemite's Dawn Wall. In August, alongside Sébastien Bert, he accomplished the feat of a one-day ground-up free ascent of Rayu 8C on Peña Santa's south face in Picos de Europa in Spain. Furthermore, 2023 marked the inception of Siba's YouTube channel, where he shares a treasure trove of his past adventures, including the gripping saga of conquering Orbayu, an 8C multi-pitch route in Spain, in the compelling video Orbayu Free Again. Go check out Siba's stuff, it's the ultimate way to get hyped for a climbing session. And this wraps up the highlights of Belgium's high-profile climbers. But when asking our community what had to be featured in this video, one of our friends suggested to focus on personal highlights as well. So we asked some people in the community to share their best climbing moments of the year. And to break the ice, I'll share my own personal highlight, which is set during our bouldering trip to Albaracin in Spain in spring. One of the standout moments for me was conquering a 7A plus boulder problem that would be V7 in the V scale. It's called La Banda del Cojo and it's quite the morpho boulder, meaning it's not too tricky for taller climbers, which apparently I am. But sending it alongside everyone in the group was an absolute blast. We had a real send train going, of which Kobe, 
brought up the rear, so why not ask him for his standout moment of the year? Hey, my name is Kove, and my most memorable moment of 2023 is actually not a moment, but more that I was a big part of the year with the production of a sort of zeep-specific to the Kimmers, and that comes finally on the market in the beginning of 2024. En die zal liggen in verschillende bolderzalen, klimzalen en winkels. Hi, my name is Lizzie and my highlight of 2023 was coming here on my own and climbing something that I hadn't done before. So that was really memorable for me and I thought it was really nice. Hello everyone, I'm Senna and my highlight of 2023 was climbing one or more 7 A's here in the gym and in other gyms, so I'm very happy about my progress. My low light of this year was my injury on Trois de Cue de Chien in Fontainebleau, where I injured my two middle fingers and that kept me aside for a couple of weeks and maybe a month or more. So I'm hoping to continue more on the progress I had with my 7 A's and I'm trying to have fun. And I hope you guys have fun too in 2024. See you guys and girls. Next up, Fran and Brecht, two exceptional local young climbers who competed in the European youth competitive season for the first time this year. They had their own memorable experiences to recount. Brecht texted us, letting us know that being selected for the European Youth Cup in Boulder and Lead was his personal highlight of 2023, and Fran sent us the following video message. Hello, I am Fran Roosjes, 15 years old. I come from Ghent. I sit on a Belgian climb. The moment from 2023 that I the most got is the semi-finals on the European Championship Lead. Another strong young climber of our local scene is Arne. This is his video. Hello, I'm Arne van der Wielen. I'm 15 years old and I train in a competition team of Klimsal Blow in Ghent. My 2023 was amazing. My biggest achievement of the year was becoming Flemish champion U16 lead and ending second overall in the Antwerp Boulder Cup. My most memorable moment of the year was definitely the Dino contest of the Rhino Rampage. That was amazing. And we finished things off with Angelo, who made amazing climbing progress this year and who has been supporting the Walrus channel since day one. So it feels right to end it on his message. I ben nog maar recent beginnen klimmen voor een jaartje nu en heb gemerkt dat de vibe en de community in de klimwereld echt de max is. Mensen staan open om u te kunnen helpen of tips te geven als je iets niet kunt of als je in iets wilt verbeteren. Dank u wel aan alle mensen die mij dit jaar heel veel kennis en heel veel tips hebben gegeven uh, in het klimmen. En uh, see you in the bowl gym. And that's a wrap for 2023. And for this video more than ever, we want to hear you in the comments below. Did we miss anything? Is there a Belgian climbing event that stood out to you and that has to be featured? Drop it down in the comment section below or share your personal climbing highlight of the past year. We hope to see you soon here on the channel and we wish you the happiest of new years. Walrus out.